you might be at the stage where you need to persuade your management to get an IoT project started in your company. The previous video, where we focused on new business opportunities, provided a number of strong revenue, cost and profit related arguments. Let's continue from there with more examples related more to efficiency and optimization. Why you should be interested in the Internet of Things, part two. So let's think about how to increase utilization, efficiency and productivity by exploring some examples in these categories. For the first category, a perfect example of how to reduce costs is by looking into the utilization of machines in your company. For instance, preventive maintenance services on production machines are often performed at specific intervals. The disadvantage here is that the service might replace parts of the machine that still work well, just because their estimated time span has reached its end and not because they really need replacing. With IoT, we can employ sensors that measure the condition of the machine together with software that helps to monitor and analyze when a part really needs to be replaced. Of course, this software could also help to plan or even predict the service. The results, reduced number of services performed and reduced number of spare parts required. Talking about efficiency, a good way to start is probably to enable demand-driven business. Think of a product that is sold by a vending machine. It could be a drink, or the towels in a restroom, or anything else. If this machine had sensors to track the usage, you could start analyzing the behavior of the consumers of your product and thus better understand their needs. The point here is to establish a connection between your product and the consumer in order to improve customer experience. Also, the product itself could be equipped with sensors. With analytical software, you could optimize refill activities, perform asset tracking and control your inventories. You could even optimize your marketing in real time based on the consumption of your product. The results, increased service quality as the vending machine is refilled before it is empty. Reduce service costs, as nobody needs to check the machine's fill state manually. Increased product selling through consumption-based marketing. Finally, let's have a quick look at increased productivity with machine-to-machine -machine communication. The categories we discussed before already included a number of positive effects in terms of productivity, as IoT can help service technicians to be in the right place at the right time, for example, thus avoiding unnecessary travel. There is another interesting aspect, however. Most people spend the majority of their time making simple decisions and actions based on simple states of a machine, device or physical conditions. With machine-to-machine -machine communication and automation, this manual effort can be significantly reduced. Also, IoT enables users to make situation-aware decisions. The results of all this are as follows. Reduced time lost by performing actions that can be automated. Increased quality in the business process as the user's know-how is focused on tasks that require their attention. And improved user experience, as users don't need to perform boring, simple tasks. Obviously, this is just the tip of the iceberg, and there are endless examples that I could cite in the realm of IoT. The examples in this video are intended merely as an introduction to the vast potential of IoT. Do you have other ideas or comments? Let us know and leave a comment. If you want to see more about IoT, 
don't miss sap.com slash ea explorer